hey guys welcome back to my channel today i will be doing my very first hair video so i'm super excited right now i have on this wig that i've had since march for my birthday i got it from white label hair um when i originally bought it it was about 18 inches and then i had a video shoot and it was this hairstylist there and she was like oh um my hair was curly and then we had shot one scene and then i was like you know i'm really not feeling my hair like this so i started straightening it in the bathroom which you're not supposed to do you're supposed to look the same throughout the video but i still straightened it so as i was straightening it i guess she seen me and she wanted to help so yeah she started pressing my hair i was trying to do a little quick press but she like started getting really into it and then she asked if she could layer it and then somehow i ended up with like 12 inches instead of 18. i'm not gonna lie i mean it was cute but i was pissed because it's a 400 dollars wig and i didn't pay 400 dollars for 12 inches of hair anyway so yeah i will be using some color brilliance ion today in the color rose i love pink and i'm going on vacay today or slash tomorrow so this is going to be my look for orlando um i will also trim the hair into a shorter cut maybe more so of a bob so if you're interested in seeing how i got this look then stay tuned okay so we're going to start um like i said this is color brilliance ion and semi-permanent rose i thought i had used this before but i couldn't have because this is um one that you actually don't add developer to and usually anytime i do any videos um, I mix the color in with developers so this is one where it just gives you the paste um, what I'm gonna do is what I've seen a lot of other people do on YouTube um, I'm squeezing all of the dye out and it's super super thick which is weird if you're not supposed to mix peroxide with it so what I'm gonna do is add some white conditioner um, I'm gonna add different amounts of white conditioner to get different tones of pink on the wig because I'm extra and usually I get different colors, but Ion didn't really have a lot of, um, they didn't have any other pinks actually, so, yeah. So, um, let's see, I did about, hmm, three seconds worth of conditioner. <laughs> Uh, I didn't put too much conditioner in this one because I'm going to put a lot more conditioner in the next batch to get a lighter tone pink. So you're just going to mix the consistency until it is even all throughout. I am using L'Oreal Total Repair Conditioner. It honestly does not matter what conditioner you use as long as it's white. So for this one... I'm going to have more conditioner than hair dye. Said I put more conditioner than I did hair dye. Um, so this one's a little lighter and this one's a little bit more bright. This one's also a lot more thick compared to this one being super movable. So I've already combed this wig all out and you're supposed to apply the application to dry hair. So I'm going to start from the front because that's the most important part to me. And this is the fun part. Um, there's no real way to apply dye to hair. Um, people ask all the time how do you do it but it's super simple. You just want to make sure you get the color all throughout the wig. I'm going back and forth between the lighter color and the dark pink just because I want not necessarily highlights but different tones of pink throughout the wig. So I'm getting super close to the lace because that would just be very annoying if some of the wig was still blonde after. So I just want to make sure that I'm getting super close to the rim so it's pretty adjustable to any size head i would not buy this wig again <laughs> not for 400 dollars. like i said the lady had cut it it was already slick shedding 
so that's probably why she wanted to cut it but still i just i wouldn't buy it again but i mean i seen on the instagram all these girls with like pretty super blonde hair because i dyed it gray for my birthday with like a grayish tone but yeah like when i got it i was just like why doesn't this look like the instagram bitches like what's going on so you're just going to continue to spread the color all amongst the wig All right, so now that the wig is fully saturated with dye, um, you're just gonna leave this process. The box says 20 to 40 minutes for pre-lightened hair. Well, pre-lightened hair, hair that's already a lighter shade or that's already blonde. So I'm just gonna let this do its thing for about 20 more minutes and then I'll rinse out and then we'll install have different tones of pink um and that would be because different parts i put different amounts of conditioner in it so the parts that are brighter have less conditioner and the parts that are lighter have more white conditioner added to the ion all right so here's the finished color of the wig and now i am going to use these got to be glued products um i think i'm only going to use two of them so i always use this when i even use it for my baby hairs and it works really really good it's my favorite what you're going to do is go around the perimeter of your head more than likely like your forehead because when they do wigs they don't ever put it on your actual hair like that's how your hair gets pulled out is when you do it like that so you'll put it right above your forehead so for the first layer, um, you're going to blow dry it and you're going to get it until it is dry. So I'll go ahead and start blow drying. Okay, so you do the exact same thing. Another round. All right, so you're going to blow dry on cool. And yeah. All right, so for those first two rounds, you'll make sure you'll blow dry it until it's completely dry. Now for the last one, the third, um, you'll put it on the same way. Except when you blow dry this, you're not going to blow dry it uh, all the way dry. You're going to leave it halfway dry so that we can apply the wig. Alrighty, so here's the fun part. I'm placing the wig on my head exactly where I want it to be. Um, this comes with three different clamps. So the wig was made with three different clamps and then two side back clamps. Okay, so you want to make sure to comb all of the hair out of the perimeter of the wig while you're placing it just because it'll give a much better clean look if you don't have any hair stuff duck where it ain't supposed to be so I've pretty much decided where I would want the wig to lay this is so cute <laughs> so next I'm going to use the got to be glued blasting free spray so this is the same brand just a different product this is actually gonna be my first time using this one but I've seen a lot of good reviews on it so Alright, so you'll go around the perimeter and you will basically stick it to where you would like it to hold. Like I said, it's best for you to do it um, along the way of your forehead instead of your hairline so that your hair doesn't come out. Even though I use these products because they're glue and I'm sorry, they're gel. So they're not glue so you don't really have to worry about them being extra harsh on your hair.
So you'll spread that all around the perimeter of where you want the wig to lay. Or even a frontal, because you could do the same method with frontals as well. Just frontals are a lot of work to me. A lot of maintenance. Even wigs are a lot of maintenance, but I could I could deal with this, but a frontal, no. And it does dry pretty quick. So if you do have to put more spray on, um, no big deal. You probably will have to more than likely. Okay, so I'm going to go back around the perimeter of my head and just make sure that everything is dried with cool air. Now that the wig is on and it's all blow dried, I'm just going to straighten it and cut it up a little bit for you all. Because I basically already knew how I wanted it to lay. But I'm so happy because the color turned out so cute. I love it. Okay, so this hair was already dramatically layered, so um, I kind of wanted a shorter bob for this look. So I'm going to finish going around and basically chop it until it's even. everywhere Ugh. hmm this it's not in the camera oh this <laughs> uh, so I just you I'm going to use it towards the bottom just so it's not really choppy a little razor or whatever whatever it is I mainly need it for the other side because I cut this very blunt straight across mm, you're not really supposed to do that but it's just really being lazy all right guys so this is the finished look um, I wanted something short, which I haven't done a bob in a really long time, and it's pink, and that's my favorite color, so, of course, that is my fave. So, yeah, that concludes my very first hair video. Um, comment below anything you guys would like me to do any other videos on, or anything, like, not just hair, but, like, literally anything um yeah i'm going to orlando tonight so it's gonna be really fun and i'll definitely make some videos while we're there thank you for watching you guys comment subscribe and like the video so yeah thanks for watching see y'all next time